what's up YouTube? It's uh, thatguysreview.com and I'm here today to talk about the Stealth 300 Turtle Beach headset that I picked up for my Xbox Series X console over uh, the holidays and uh, I've been able to use it with a couple games. Um, Call of Duty is one of them, NBA 2K21, Madden and a couple other games and I honestly think that these are decent headsets but uh, for the price that you pay I expect a little bit more high quality, especially around the, the sound. Um, it's a little bit low. So I picked these up for a good, pretty good price point, about 30 bucks. I know it's retailed for around $70 or so. So I thought it was a good buy. I think that you know there's room for improvement for these headsets. So let me just kind of walk you through some of the different options here. So on the left side of the headset, uh, the volume control right up here. And then you have your uh, speaker volume at the bottom. And then on the side of the headset, you have your mode. I guess this is where you can adjust the, the bass and all that. And then you have your power button. And you can simply charge the headset using this, this port. It's taking the bottom of this uh, jack here and putting it at the bottom of the Xbox controller. And that's all it is. So it's connected just like that. And you play. Now, the headset, you can adjust it by pulling it up like that. And it's pretty comfortable for the most part. And then if you put the headset on, this is where the mic comes out once you once you pull that once you pull the speaker down, uh, you can start speaking directly to it using the mouthpiece. So the microphone automatically shuts off once it's in this position, but when you turn it on, to, to turn on the microphone, you, you simply just slide that down. So let me review the box really quick. Yeah, we just talked about the flip microphone. We talked about the extension for the headset. And then the mode button is the bass boost. And it has uh, four audio presets. And they're, they're saying that it's large uh, 50 millimeter speakers produce high and thundering lows. I would kind of disagree with that. I think that's an area that it needs to improve in. And the battery life is pretty decent. You know, I've used it for a while. I didn't really have to charge it as much. I would say about, I don't know, 8 to 12 hours of gameplay. Then you would probably have to charge it once, which is pretty decent. And it's compatible with the Xbox Series X and the Xbox One. It looks like it works for the PS5, PS4 Pro, the PS4, uh, Nintendo Switch, the PC, and then uh, mobile, as long as it has a 3.5 millimeter jack, it basically works with uh, any, any devices. Oh, and that also comes with uh, a micro USB charging cable along with the headset. So my final thoughts are that these are good headsets and for the price that I paid, I can't complain since it does have above average ratings based on the reviews uh, from others who've owned many gaming headsets. It's about a 4 out of 5 rating, so even though I said that the volume's lower than expected, it's probably better than many other headsets at this price point or cheaper. Uh, it definitely fits my needs, and with some noise cancellation effect and it's tightly snugged, this helped isolate the outside noise, so overall I'm happy with the purchase. So that's just a quick review on these headsets, and it's just my opinion, uh, after using them for a little while. So hopefully you liked the video, and I'll catch you in the next one.